You need to practice your buzz every day before you even try to play anything on your trombone. We want our corners to be firm, our middle of our lips to be relaxed and vibrating or buzzing, and we want our cheeks glued against our teeth so our sound is like this. A beginner might only be able to get that nice even sound for two seconds. More advanced students might be able to find their way to four and five and trying to extend that really good buzz sound up to eight or nine or ten seconds even. Let's practice a steady buzz exercise. We'll start with four counts. Everybody's going to do this with me. Here we go. Ready? One, two, ready? Great. Now let's try a little longer buzz. Let's try to do six counts this time. Here we go. Proper mouthpiece placement. One, two, ready? And as you get better with four and six, you can try to extend to eight. And as far as you can, but remember, try to keep that sound even the whole time. There's another kind of exercise that we can do that's kind of fun that prepares us for playing high and low notes on the instrument. It's called a siren buzz. In order to make the sound go higher, I'm going to do my buzz, but then I'm going to increase the pressure here by frowning with my corners, and I'm going to push the air faster with my stomach muscles to make the air go fast and go up in sound. It sounds like this. Did you hear the sound go up? In order for the sound to go down, I still have to keep my corners firm, but not as much. And I let the air go a little bit slower. I slow it down so the sound goes down. That one's a little trickier because if you let your lips get too loose, you're going to lose your sound. Remember, the corners must be firm all the time to keep your buzz. If we put it together, it sounds like this. I'll go up first and then down. And you can make it go high and low. The better you get at it, you'll get a wider range of highs and lows. So remember everybody, Buzzing is a really, really good thing to practice and it's super important to do this every day. Beginners, intermediate students, and professionals all should and do practice their buzzing because the better that buzz sounds, the better your sound is going to be.